Hi everyone, it's Monica. Welcome back to my Bible journaling channel. It is Memory Verse Monday where I share a page that I created for the scripture I'm working on memorizing this week. You are welcome to memorize it with me if you like. It comes from 2 Chronicles 16 verse 9, especially the first half of the verse. It reads, For the eyes of the Lord run to and fro throughout the whole earth, to give strong support to those whose heart is blameless toward him. I just wanted to talk a little bit about the context for this verse. First of all, the second half of the verse is much different from the first. The first is really nice. It's a lovely thought of how the Lord gives us strong support when our heart is blameless toward him. But the second half of the verse says, you have done foolishly in this, for from now on you will have wars. Now this was spoken to King Asa, and I just wanted to sum up a little bit of the context of this. King Asa was one of the kings that ruled for many years in the Old Testament, and in his 36th year of reigning as king, Basically, he had a problem. Another king was making life difficult for him, and instead of turning to the Lord for help, he sent gold and silver and treasures to the king of Syria and asked the king of Syria to help him out. And the king of Syria did help him out, and Asa's problems went away. However, Hanani, a spokesperson for God, came to Asa and said, because you relied on the king of Syria and didn't rely on the Lord your God, from now on you will have wars. Hanani says, remember the Ethiopians, remember the Libyans and their huge armies, but you relied on the Lord then and the Lord gave them into your hand. So you won those battles. But in this case, King Asa actually acted foolishly, did not call on the Lord, but instead called on other human forces around him to try to deal with his problem. So getting back to the memory verse, the eyes of the Lord run to and fro throughout the whole earth to give strong support to those whose heart is blameless toward him. So I guess what I was attempting to do with this page was just show that I want to be a woman of God who has a blameless heart, this type of heart that picks up the phone and calls the Lord instead of relying on man or other worldly things, other resources besides God. So the page sort of depicts my heart there in the center and then I did some lightning and some arrows and some fire to show that there are attacks that come our way, but I wrote this little commitment in the margin there. I will call upon the Lord. I just want to be one of those kind of believers, one of those kind of believers that when things go wrong, I want my first instinct to be to call on the Lord, to pray, to seek his help. Just want to mention, I was having a blast doing this fire down at the bottom of the page. It was just really fun using these watercolors. And you saw that I just went from a light yellow all the way to kind of a dark red out on the edge. Adding some shadows underneath my telephone. Sometimes it's those shadows that really anchor objects onto our page. You can see that I did take time and highlight the verse in the center of the page with kind of a darker pink watercolor. And I'm now going in and coloring in the lightning bolts. These aren't meant to look realistic, they're more symbolic than anything else. And just adding a little bit of color to the arrows. It's a pretty quick page, pretty basic, but such an interesting story from the Old Testament and such a good reminder to be that type of person that always calls upon the Lord when challenges and attacks come our way because we want that strong support from him we don't want the negative consequences that come when we don't call on his name 
I hope you've enjoyed this page. Thanks for tuning in. You can support me and my channel here by clicking on the subscribe button below. Also, don't forget to look in the box below and get some information about this page, links to my other playlists, and how you can join my Bible journaling Facebook group. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, add a comment below, and don't forget to dive into the living Word of God.